John, Yohanan, Chapter 16 I have told you these things that, so that you won't be caught by surprise. They will ban you from the synagogue. In fact, the time will come when anyone who kills you will think he is serving God. They will do these things because they have understood neither the Father nor me. But I have told you this so that when the time comes for it to happen, you will remember that I told you. I didn't tell you this at first because I was with you, but I am go now I am going to the one who sent me. Now one of you is asking me, where are you going? Instead, because I have said these things to you, you are overcome with grief. But I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I don't go away, the comforting counselor will not come to you. However, if I do go, I will send him to you. When he comes, he will show that the world is wrong about sin, about righteousness, and about judgment, about sin and that people don't put their trust in me, about righteousness, and that I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me, about judgment, and that the ruler of this world has been judged. I still have many things to tell you, but you can't bear them now. However, when the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own initiative, but will only say what he hears. He will also announce to you the events of the future. He will glorify me because he will receive what is mine from what is mine and announce it to you. Everything the Father has is mine. This is why I said that he receives from what is mine and will announce it to you. In a little while you will see me no more. Then a little while later you will see me. At this some of the Talmudim said to one another, what is this that he's telling us? In a little while you won't see me, then a little while later you will see me, and I'm going to be with I'm going to the Father. They went on saying, What is this little while? We don't understand what he's talking about. Yeshua knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Are you asking each other what I meant by saying, In a little while you won't see me, and then a little while later you will see me? Yes, it's true. I tell you that you will sob and mourn, and the world will rejoice. You will grieve, but your grief will turn to joy. When a woman is giving birth, she is in pain because her time has come. But when the baby is born, she forgets her suffering out of joy that the child, a child has come into the world. So you do indeed feel grief now, but I am going to see you again. Then your hearts will be full of joy, and no one will take your joy away from you. When that day comes, you won't ask anything of me. Yes, indeed. I tell you that whatever you ask from the Father, he will give you in my name. Till now you haven't asked for anything in my name. Keep asking, and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have said these things to you with the help of illustrations. However, a time is coming when I will no longer speak indirectly, but will talk about the Father in plain language. When that day comes, you will ask in my name. I am not telling you that I will pray to the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world, Again, I am leaving the world and returning to the Father. The Talmudim said to him, Look, you're talking plainly right now. You're not speaking indirectly at all. Now we know that you know everything and that you don't need to have people put their questions into words. This makes us believe that you came from God. Yeshua answered, Now you do believe, but a time is coming, indeed it has come already, when you will be scattered, each one looking out for himself, and you will leave me all alone. Yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have said these things to you, so that, united with me, you may have shalom. In the world you have trials, but be brave. I have conquered the world. End of John, Yohanan, chapter 16.